2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Delighted to have 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam in the booth. I'm Luke Elvey, and it's a good morning to Henny Koyak, who's out on the course following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Who delivers when it matters most? That's the joy of any rivalry. And this is a good one to win. Nicely done. What does she have in front of her here, Henny? Oh, the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Just didn't drop. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones, right on eight feet. So far, so good. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. She currently finds herself in a share of sixth. The second at TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Next shot straight back into the teeth of the wind. And this is an extremely long putt. You might even have to hinge on this one. Ooh, right by the hole. That'll sting a bit. An opportunity to make a par here. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. And with that par, she'll remain at even overall. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. From around 170 yards here, Looks to be going with the six iron. Mm. 
Not a bad play, that one. Time to take a look at Justin Rose. He's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Justin Rose now. <laughs> Sitting up here with a very long putt. This is their look at birdie. Starting to look really good. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. Why not take another look at that effort? Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. Currently one under for the event. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the fourth. Opting for the nine iron. That's a good looking shot there. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? She's been all around this one. 27 feet is what she's faced with. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, I like the look of this. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Downhill putt, and certainly was robbed on that effort. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Going with the six iron here. This one might need to sit. That should set up another chance. And now over to Justin Rose. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And back to the play, shall we? And this part to move into a share of first. good was that from downtown and gets it to drop Luke I don't know if you know this or not but nothing rolls like a ball and it's worth taking another look at that one now this this is how you putt take another look at this
Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Nicely done. What's she facing with this shot, Henny? Yeah, she's got roughly 115, I'd say. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Oh, well played. This putt will move them to three under par. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Surely it's going to. Steady on. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yep. We'll take that. And after that hole, they're currently in a tie for the lead with Ricky Fowler. The seventh.